Have you ever run across someone that looked familiar and the only thing stopping you from saying hi was that you just couldn't quite place their face? Yeah, of course. If that's the case, you're probably finding it even harder now that everybody's wearing a mask. <laughs> Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new study that shows how masks change the way we recognize faces. Yeah, Jason and Kim, so I remember when I was younger during my medical training, when you are first exposed to the operating room, one of the first things you notice is how pretty the OR scrub nurse's eyes are. And that's largely because that's all you could see. And if I ran into one of them outside of the operating room, I often wouldn't recognize them. That's because our brains are not wired to recognize individual face facial features as much as the entire appearance of a face making masks a bit of a handicap. Since the advent of universal masking, you might have noticed some inconveniences, like your iPhone face ID not working. But for some people, the inability to recognize faces is an actual medical problem known as prosopagnosia. It's a neurologic disorder, also known as face blindness. It can be congenital or the result of head trauma or a stroke affecting a very specific part of the brain. People with severe face blindness have difficulty recognizing close friends, family members, and even their own face. Generally, masking doesn't cause severe problems like that, but it can impair casual encounters with acquaintances. A new paper published in Nature Scientific Reports studied the effect masks had on our ability to recognize faces. Take a look at this face. Now try and find the face in these three with masks. It's not easy to pick the match. Here are all three faces without masks. The study actually found that people's ability to recognize faces was decreased by about 15% when a mask was worn. Furthermore, for people who were not good at recognizing faces even without a mask, a mask lowered their performance to the level of a person with actual face blindness. Interestingly, consistent with prior research, women were much better than men at recognizing faces, whether masked or unmasked. Now, this study was focused on recognizing people, but obviously masks impair our ability to read lips and judge many emotions. Research has actually shown when people don't recognize faces, it leads to decreased social engagement, less social confidence, and a general decrease in the quality of life. I agree, Dr. McGeorge. I feel like sometimes I walk by people, I don't even look at them in the eye because I, it just feels weird. I'm wondering, what should we do, though? Did the authors of the study have any suggestions that might help people who have difficulty recognizing people? Well, you know, unfortunately, they actually didn't. And part of the problem is that we just are not wired to recognize only a pair of eyes. We recognize a face holistically, sure. kind of like pattern recognition that takes the relative shape and location of all the parts of the face into account. In fact, just turning a picture of a face upside down can also make it harder for people to recognize someone emphasizing those relationships. Yeah, really interesting. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.